It's been more than two weeks since Ye posted an anti-Semitic comment on Twitter, which quickly locked his account. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 23 celeb scandals of each year. I don't know what people thought, but nobody was expecting that. that. Oh. Nobody was expecting that. For this list, we'll be looking at the most shocking controversies involving high-profile figures from each year of the 21st century so far, from 2000 to 2022. Which of these scandals do you think is viewed the most differently today? Let us know in the comments. 2000. Angelina Jolie's Oscars After Party Kiss At the turn of the millennium, Angelina Jolie won the Best Supporting Actress Oscar for her performance in Girl Interrupted. Lisa, your aorta is in your chest. Good to know. I'll make a note of that. After expressing her undying affection for her brother, James Haven, during her acceptance speech, Jolie locked lips with him at the Vanity Fair after party. The widely photographed moment made headlines and sparked rumors about the siblings' close relationship. It's a little strange. Hi. That's not fair of you to say that. Come on, there's something going on with you guys. <laughs> All right, Colin. James, I'm sorry, but I can't hide this anymore. What may have been viewed as a questionable publicity stunt by some was later explained by Jolie as being a sincere expression of sibling love. According to a family friend, it was an especially hard day for the two, as they had just been at the hospital with their mom, who was getting treated for cancer. 2001. Winona Ryder's shoplifting incident. She came, she stole, she left, end of story. Those were the words used to describe the shocking controversy surrounding Winona Ryder back in 2001. Everyone was stunned when reports emerged that the Oscar-nominated actress tried stealing from a Saks Fifth Avenue store before quickly being apprehended by security personnel. He said the actress walked past three cash registers with a pile of clothes and handbags before leaving the store. A publicized trial notably resulted in her being fined, in addition to getting community service and probation. The incident was puzzling, as many wondered why anyone would try to avoid paying for items they probably could afford. Ryder eventually explained that her mental health was suffering at the time, a struggle that was only exacerbated by painkillers she was taking. 2002. Michael Jackson holds Prince over a balcony. The early 2000s were a troubling period for Jackson, in part due to this risky 2002 incident. While staying at a hotel in Berlin, he greeted his fans outside with his young boy, Prince Michael II, also known as Blanket. However, the way he presented the child to the crowd, by covering his head with a towel and dangling him precariously over a balcony, left many in absolute horror. After receiving a lot of backlash, Jackson put out a statement in which he apologized for what he termed a, quote, terrible mistake. Have you been hearing about what people have been saying? And that's totally ignorant. I would never do that to my children or any, any child. 2003. The Chicks criticized George W. Bush. Before the events of 2003, when they were known by a different name, the Chicks were country superstars, selling millions of records that proved to be mainstream crossovers. Set me free, oh, I pray. However, that changed when lead singer Natalie Maines openly called out then-president George W. Bush and the looming invasion of Iraq during a UK performance. Her comments didn't fly in the industry or among country fans, leading to the group members being villainized. The chick's career took a hit, and they went on break, but came back with their Taking the Long Way album in 2006. Its lead single, Not Ready to Make Nice, in which they tackle the drama, earned them multiple Grammys, including Record and Song of the Year. Two thousand four, Justin Timberlake and Janet Jackson's Super Bowl halftime show performance. Super Bowl thirty eight was a very close and exciting game, only decided by a last minute field goal that cemented the New England Patriots as the winners. The twenty runs out of room, and the Panthers run out of time. 
but hardly anyone remembers the actual match due to its halftime show. As one of the headliners, Janet Jackson performed her heart out before being joined on stage by Justin Timberlake. While busting moves to his song, Rock Your Body, Timberlake ended up uncovering Jackson's breast. The live incident caused an immediate uproar that hurt Jackson's career for years. Do you think people were too hard on you? I think they were. I think they did put all the emphasis mm -hmm. on me and uh, as opposed to us. It also helped shed light on the vast difference between the societal expectations for male and female artists. 2005, Michael Jackson's trial. Jackson was publicly accused of assaulting young individuals on two separate instances. The first case, back in 1993, was closed after Jackson reached a settlement with the victim's family. In 2005, Jackson would become the subject of a huge scandal, this time as a result of a second wave of accusations leveled by a cancer patient who had visited his Neverland ranch. This case is about one thing only. It's about the dignity, the integrity, the decency, the honor, the charity, the innocence, and the complete vindication of a wonderful human being named Michael Jackson. The late entertainer was taken into custody and faced multiple charges. After a highly publicized 14-week trial, a jury deemed him not guilty, though further accusations have been leveled against him in the years since. This was also the year of Kanye West's shot at George W. Bush, though that wasn't as headline-generating as the Jackson case. George Bush doesn't care about black people. 2006, Mel Gibson's racist tirade. 2004 saw the release of Mel Gibson's The Passion of the Christ, which came under fire for its portrayal of Jewish people in relation to the crucifixion of Jesus Christ. Two years later, Gibson was driving under the influence when he was stopped by the authorities. After being placed under arrest, he reportedly launched into an anti-Semitic rant. He also allegedly made sexist remarks. TMZ soon reported on the incident, making the details of the confrontation public. Gibson subsequently put out a statement apologizing for the incident and also expressed his regret with a TV appearance. Are those anti-Semitic words? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. It sounds horrible. And I'm ashamed of that. That came out of my mouth, and I'm not that. That's not who I am, you know. 2007, Britney Spears' struggles. 2007 was the year O.J. Simpson was arrested after carrying out a robbery, years after being acquitted of murder. O.J. Simpson is a suspect in a break-in at a casino hotel room. The victim stated that the one of the suspects involved in the robbery was O.J. Simpson. But when it comes to celebrity scandals, none was quite as unforgettable as the public breakdown of Britney Spears. The pop star had been in the public eye since her teens, when she released her hit debut single, Baby One More Time. The pressure of fame and lack of agency at such an early age, mixed with her family issues, likely created a dangerous combination that damaged her health. This led to her shaving her head, her ex being given custody of their children, and Spears ultimately being placed under a highly controversial conservatorship in 2008. Jamie Spears, her father, was given legal control over his daughter's personal, professional, and financial affairs in 2008, after she suffered a mental breakdown. 2008, Tom Cruise's Scientology video. Throughout the 2000s, the life of Scientologist actor Tom Cruise was full of headline-grabbing and often scandalous incidents. From jumping on Oprah Winfrey's couch to being parodied on South Park, he was a regular in the tabloids of that era. Oh, this is the greatest day of my life. Uh, dude, I need to go to bed. Don't you understand, Elron? It's me, Tom Cruise! Yeah, I know who you are. Perhaps his most controversial moment came in 2008, when a video leaked online in which he was shown praising Scientology. In the clip, Cruz appears in a black turtleneck and makes a number of questionable claims, all set to the Mission Impossible theme music. I think it's a privilege to call yourself a Scientologist, and it's something that you have to earn. And because a Scientologist does. The video raised several questions about his state of mind and the influence of the Church of Scientology on his personal life. 2009, Tiger Woods' Affairs. We'll never forget Kanye West interrupting Taylor Swift at the VMAs. Yo, Taylor, 
I, I'm really happy for you. I'm gonna let you finish. But Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. But 2009 was also the year that Tiger Woods' seemingly pristine reputation suffered a devastating blow. In November, the National Enquirer reported that he had been unfaithful to his then wife. A few days later, he was involved in a car crash that further fueled rumors about the state of his marriage. Woods' car crash turbocharged his personal life into a national sensation, pushed along at every turn by a tabloid press that knows a hot story when it sees one. As time went on, numerous women came forward alleging illicit flings with the famed golfer. Woods publicly admitted his guilt on multiple occasions, and his marriage to Elon Nordegren ended the next year. He also lost several endorsement deals as a result. 2010, Jesse James's Infidelity. The 2009 film The Blind Side stars Sandra Bullock as Leanne Tui, who takes in and ultimately adopts Michael Orr. Do you have any place to stay tonight? Don't you dare lie to me. Bullock's performance in the film received universal acclaim and won her the Oscar for Best Actress the next year. And she seemed to shout her then-husband, Jesse James, out in a quick moment during her acceptance speech. But just over a week after that, news broke that he had cheated on her with numerous women. The alleged affair has struck a chord in the public psyche. People really do identify with Sandra Bullock because she's like the girl next door. Soon after James publicly expressed regret, Bullock divorced the Monster Garage host, dissolving their marriage in June of that year. 2011, Arnold Schwarzenegger's Love Child. Extramarital affairs in Hollywood are a dime a dozen, but what made this one pretty shocking was how tight-knit all the parties involved were. Hollywood action star and former California governor Arnold Schwarzenegger was embroiled in controversy in 2011 when it was revealed that he was the father of his housekeeper, Mildred Baena's son, named Joseph. Overnight, Schwarzenegger came clean about his real-life true lies, saying, quote, After leaving the governor's office, I told my wife about this event, which occurred over a decade ago. There are no excuses, and I take full responsibility for the hurt I have caused. He reportedly only found out about the paternity some years after the boy's 1997 birth. Meanwhile, Bayana remained part of his family's staff for nearly 15 more years. After his then-wife Maria Shriver figured things out and went to him, he admitted guilt and apologized to her and their children. Nevertheless, the duo split up. According to multiple reports, Arnold Schwarzenegger and Maria Shriver are officially divorced, more than 10 years after Maria's initial filing. 2012. Jimmy Seville's Posthumous Scandal It was the year the U.S. dealt with the shocking Lance Armstrong doping scandal. Some breaking news now on Lance Armstrong. The global governing body of cycling has just announced moments ago it will ban Armstrong for life and strip him of his seven tour titles. But across the pond, a more sinister controversy was brewing involving the late Jimmy Savile, a celebrated British DJ and TV host who died in 2011. In 2012, a documentary aired on ITV in which multiple women alleged that Savile had assaulted them when they were younger. But I'm pretty sure that some of the, well, on reflection, with hindsight, I'm pretty sure some of the production staff must have known. This led to a wave of accusations and a police investigation, with some incidents said to have occurred on the BBC's grounds and others in NHS hospitals. In total, a minimum of about 450 people are believed to have been victims of Savile. In the wake of these revelations, certain distinctions bestowed upon him while alive were withdrawn. 2013, Miley Cyrus's image change. Miley Cyrus first achieved international recognition for her starring role in Disney Channel's Hannah Montana. Lily, college is not all about decorating your room. It's about gaining an education and expanding your mind. Now. With that being said, which one of these fake glasses makes me look more highly educated? The show cemented her as a teen idol, an image Cyrus began moving away from with the release of her 2010 album Can't Be Tamed. After a brief hiatus from music, an edgier, more provocative Cyrus emerged in 2013 with We Can't Stop. And we can't stop. 
As if its lyrics and controversial music video weren't enough, she gave a raunchy performance of the song and Robin Thicke's blurred lines at the VMAs that had many in an uproar. This shift in her public persona was further confirmed by her number one song, Wrecking Ball. I came in like a wrecking ball. I never hit so hard in love. Its video featured a nude Cyrus on the eponymous equipment and suggestively licking a sledgehammer. 2014, Bill Cosby Assault Scandal. In August 2014, the celebrity photo leak rattled the industry. It is what could be the largest breach of private, racy celebrity photos in history. Roughly two months later, the once beloved Bill Cosby met his downfall, thanks in large part to a stand up routine. While performing in Philadelphia in October, Hannibal Burris made a comment referencing long-standing sexual assault allegations against Cosby. This round started off, believe it or not, as a joke. Back on October 16th, comedian Hannibal Burris says something that goes viral. After the set went viral and renewed attention on the past accusations, more women came forward alleging that the actor had assaulted them. He went to jail after being convicted of three counts of aggravated indecent assault in 2018. The decision was overturned three years later after the Pennsylvania Supreme Court found that the prosecution had violated his rights. Tonight, Bill Cosby is a free man. His conviction tossed out, his record wiped clean. 2015, Rachel Dolezal race controversy. It was the scandal that ignited public discussions about race and identity. In 2015, it was reported that Rachel Dolezal, the then president of the Spokane, Washington chapter of the NAACP, was actually a white woman presenting herself as black. Do you understand um, why many people would think, given your parents and your heritage, that is at best a misleading answer? Um, I, I can understand that, but again, up to this point, I know who raised me. The news first broke that June, following multiple assertions by Dolezal that she had been the target of racially motivated crimes. In response, her mom and dad notably refuted her story, presenting evidence that she was Caucasian. It's alarming that Rachel continues to make false statements mm -hmm. and have no acknowledgement that she has been doing that and it's become an issue. Facing mounting pressure, Dolezal tendered her resignation to the NAACP a few days later. However, she said that she, quote, identifies as black. 2016, Donald Trump's Access Hollywood tape. Just one month before the hotly contested 2016 U.S. presidential election, then-candidate Donald Trump's past problematic remarks were exposed. Back in 2005, he had been caught on tape discussing with Access Hollywood host Billy Bush. I moved on her, actually. You know, she was down in Palm Beach. I moved on her, and I failed. I'll admit it. During their conversation, Trump bragged about harassing women and getting away with it due to his supposed star power. The clip was met with immediate backlash. Trump tried to minimize his comments by referring to them as, quote, locker room banter, before then putting out an apology video. Anyone who knows me knows these words don't reflect who I am. I said it, I was wrong, and I apologize. Still, he tried to place the focus onto his Democratic opponent, Hillary Clinton, as well as onto Bill Clinton. The scandal didn't make as big an impact as many hoped, as Trump was later elected to the highest office in the land. 2017, Harvey Weinstein and Me Too. The biggest celebrity scandal of 2017 involved Hollywood producer Harvey Weinstein. In October, Weinstein was accused of harassment, sexual assault, or both by numerous women who worked in the entertainment industry. The allegations, which were revealed by the New York Times and The New Yorker, received widespread attention and ignited an online movement. Do you have any advice for a young girl moving to Hollywood? I'll get live with Harvey Weinstein invites you to a private party in the Four Seasons Hotel. They were described as an open secret for years in Hollywood, but they never broke. Under the hashtag MeToo, many more people came forward detailing their experiences at the hands of other high profile individuals. The allegations against Harvey Weinstein sparked a movement demanding transparency and accountability across the globe. This led to several figures, such as actor Kevin Spacey and former NBC anchor Matt Lauer being exposed. In 2020, Weinstein was found guilty and handed a 23-year prison sentence. 2018, Allison Mack and Nexium. 
Allison Mack, an actress known for her role as high school journalist Chloe Sullivan on Smallville, was at the center of a troubling controversy in 2018. She was indicted in April for her involvement in Nexium, a network marketing company which doubled as a trafficking cult. According to the FBI, Mack, who had joined Nexium about 12 years prior, found and enlisted women for cult leader Keith Raniere. According to court documents, Mack lured unsuspecting women into a secret sisterhood connected to a self-improvement organization known as Nexium. The recruits were severely mistreated. In 2019, Mack entered a guilty plea. The criminal charges normally would have gotten her 14 to 17.5 years in prison. However, due to the fact that she was repentant and helped the prosecution with their case against Ranieri, she was ultimately handed a three-year sentence. Prosecutors asked the judge to give Mack a reduced sentence because of the, quote, substantial assistance she provided with their investigation into the cult. 2019, the R. Kelly revelations. 2019 was the year that Prince Andrew stepped away from his royal duties due to his ties with Jeffrey Epstein. Because you said you went to break up the relationship and yet you stayed at that New York mansion several days. I'm wondering how long But I was doing a number of other things while I was there. It was also the year in which the long-standing assault allegations against R&B singer R. Kelly caught up with him. Kelly was first charged in 2002 for possession of obscene materials involving youth, although he was eventually acquitted. In 2019, a six-part docuseries titled Surviving R. Kelly aired on Lifetime that presented damning evidence against the singer and featured a number of his accusers. Subsequently, RCA Records dropped Kelly, and he was indicted by federal agents on multiple charges. He was later convicted and received a 30-year jail sentence. When asked by the judge if he wanted to make a statement, he declined. When sentencing Kelly, the judge said, the public has to be protected from behaviors like this. 2020, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry split from the royals. After getting married to Prince Harry in 2018, American actress Meghan Markle stepped away from Hollywood to become the Duchess of Sussex. What followed soon after was a barrage of criticism and privacy invasion by British tabloids and paparazzi. In January 2020, Markle and Prince Harry revealed that they'd be officially stepping down from their senior royal positions and assuming responsibility for their own finances. While all are saddened by their decision, the Duke and Duchess remain much-loved members of the family. The news was met with polarizing reactions. While some supported the pair, especially considering the ultimate fate of Harry's mother, Princess Diana, others, like Pierce Morgan, were particularly outraged. The next year, the couple sat for a widely anticipated TV interview with Oprah Winfrey, in which they discussed their experience within the British monarchy. 2021, Britney Spears' conservatorship battle. In 2008, Britney Spears was placed under a conservatorship that was overseen by her father, Jamie, and some others. A court ordered the conservatorship in 2008, when it was clear the superstar was spiraling out of control, with seemingly her every move snapped by paparazzi and scrutinized. The arrangement, which was reportedly made against her will and was initially meant to be temporary, was later declared permanent, even though Spears' state of mind had begun to improve. This meant she was no longer in charge of her own personal and financial affairs. As information about the conservatorship made it into the public space, her fans started the Free Britney movement. It was amplified and generated headlines with the release of the 2021 documentary Framing Britney Spears. In November of 2021, a court ordered the end of the conservatorship after Spears spoke about its damaging effects on her well-being. Outside the courthouse, the sounds of victory. Her most ardent supporters created an entire movement to make this moment a reality. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. 2022, Kanye West's controversies. 2022 was quite eventful. There was Will Smith slapping Chris Rock at the Oscars. Oh, wow! Wow! We also witnessed the sensationalized trial between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. And of course, there were the never-ending controversies of Ezra Miller. 
In other words, there was no shortage of scandals. But perhaps the most damaging one was that involving rapper Kanye West. He drew criticism in October for wearing a White Lives Matter t-shirt. On Monday, the rapper surprised fans at Yeezy's Paris Week fashion show by posing it up in the design with polarizing conservative commentator Candace Owens. A few days later, after xenophobic comments caused his Instagram access to be revoked, West tweeted more anti-Semitic remarks. His behavior on these platforms and elsewhere led to multiple brands and companies dropping him, which in turn meant he was no longer a billionaire. West has since continued with his rhetoric. These comments aren't just offensive, okay, Stephanie? They are dangerous. They can lead to real-world violence. That's where we are right now. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.